Yeah. Right, as we watch Rasmus Huygart at the first, uh, let's uh, find out more from Warren Humphreys. Thank you, Dom. 152 that, and it's either a big wedge or very little nine. Breeze just gently into his face to this back right flag. Now look out if this young man gets on a roll out there today. And a chance for Huygart at the first. Great distance, this doesn't have to work too hard. He can just watch this one roll, one lucky. Yes, that was known as one of those bad moments, unfortunately. I think he's played, you know, seven holes and maybe just that too, played too many holes, maybe too far behind, but you never know. Amazing memory Dom's got, Richard. Just inside, or just right of centre. May it even be very straight if he hits it firm. Beautiful read, just inside right. So a birdie for Rasmus Hoygaard moves him to eight under. He's alongside Andy Sullivan. And Armitage as well and Wiesberger. Forty-three yards into the fifth. Wow! Look at that! Look at that from the Danish teenager. That's the view they get off the tee at the sixth. Water away down the left, all above his cap, just to the right of that. Tom Trace following the fly of that ball, three woods, so that should be absolutely perfect. Super tee shot, beautiful high fade off the really difficult sick tee. Doesn't really suit a fade, but looks like he's trying to draw this one in, so in this both ways, Hoygaard. Yeah, that's a classy goal shot, if I saw one. I saw the approach shot of Rasmus Hoygaard at the most difficult hole on the course, the sixth. And he does get a third birdie in four holes, and the Danish teenager gets to 10 under, three behind Walters, looking for a second win in his rookie season out here on the European Tour. And let's go to Rasmus Hoygaard at the ninth, his third shot, problems off the tee for the Danish teenager. Yeah, quite an easy shot there, Dom. You can use the backstop or skip it up, so he'd be happy with that, but really inside 10 feet was requirement. Par putt at nine for Hoygar. Yeah, this will keep his day going if he can get up and down for his par. Oh, very good, well done. Underrated those moments on a Sunday afternoon. Just the soft three would, I would suggest, for Hoygar here. Just trying to hold it up a little bit from left to right, keep the height Go. on the ball. Go. Past all those Go trees on. down the right. Oh, that's a good shot. Very good. See much better than that today. Two good shots, actually. Let's go to Hoygar. We saw the tee shot at the 10th. Eagle putt from 33 feet. Yeah, slow one up your right to left. He'll know that. He'll have been practicing from there all early on in the week. Not really ever threatening. Hoygaard makes his birdie at 10. So he joins Ebert and Walters at 11 under par, and he is only one off the lead. Now what a different hole this makes when you can carry that right-hand bunker, as the Dane has done. Real good birdie chance. Ooh, unlucky not to spin back a bit. Right over the top of the flag. Uh, just move right very early there. I was just thinking I was going to move a lot right to left at the end, but didn't. Four birdies today and no drop shots, and he's one behind. Playing a number of the events, been good to see. Always love it to watch him play golf. 
First bogey today, I'm afraid, for Rasmus Hoygaard. So he's back to 10 under, but it's still only two behind. Hoygaard for the birdie at 14. Around and down it comes. So a drop shot at 12. He gets it back there. He's back to 11 under and within one. And those two par fives, the 15th and the 17th, 16 is gettable as well. Second to the 16th for young Rasmus Hoygaard. Didn't birdie the par five the last hole. His length didn't take advantage. That'll spin back down towards the hole. Here we go. had to move within one but remember kaima has got a real nasty putt coming up for his par on the 14th Weigar to tie the lead that does right in the middle for the youngster par five coming up as well yeah that well, birdie takes him to 12 under him. par he's got the par five 17th next up big drive Always an easy game, isn't it? What a shot. My God. Wow. He does make the game look rather easy at times, doesn't oh, he? That's a sensational shot, drawing that in from right to left. Yeah. It is an eagle free for Hoygaard. Well, it's all happening, isn't it? Birdie 16, the eagle there at number 17. Beautiful, Brilliant. calm you... golf swing for someone so young. Showed no nerves there for me. Well, Knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah. Just delivered it. One of the most impressive yeah. features is how he's handled himself when he's been in contention. An old head on those young shoulders. Fine shot, another fine shot from the Danish teenager. And he's given himself a good look. Well, I think he had it if he had the pace. But that also deceived him, even though he saw Campillo's first. That just shows you how quick that part was. Good stroke. Nicely done. 14 under he finishes. Final round of 65 for Rasmus Hoygaard. Started off badly with the 73, 69, 67, 65. Three wood, same club. You missed it right in the thick stuff in real time. Could be tight to the penalty area. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He pulled it, but he'll strut down here with his chest okay. pumped out. Need something in the bag. Using the slope, it's got to come down. It cannot stop. And it won't stop. Ooh -wee. Advantage Denmark. There's a good effort. Hoygaard for his part, no problems, and they will head back to the 18th tee as our playoff for the ISPS Hander UK Championship. The final event of the UK swing continues here. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
fix the tee up very quickly. That's why. Perfect. Get right. Just right a little. Ooh, a little help off that uh, back of the bunker there. That's okay. Knows the line from there. Bounced a little, didn't it? And at just 19 years of age, Rasmus Hoygaard wins for the second time on the European Tour as he prevails in the playoff against Justin Walters to become the ISPS Hander UK champion for 2020. Rasmus, many, many congratulations. An incredible victory. Your second in just your 15th start on the European Tour. Five behind at the start of the day, a 65, and then you win in a playoff. Just reflect on that final day for me. It's been a, it's been a tough day. Um, yeah, I, I basically just went out there today um, with the same mindset as yesterday. Give myself as many birdie chances as possible and see if I can take advantage of it. And uh, I managed that uh, today, so I, I'm very happy. You bogeyed the 12th hole to full, a couple of shots behind, then shot four birdies in those last six. What was going through your mind down that stretch? Not much, to be fair. I, um, if I obviously was a bit disappointed by, by making a, a bogey on 12 and, uh, and a par on 15. Uh, but from, from there on, I, um, my call was just to give myself some good chances coming in. And uh, that shot on 17 was... Uh, quite good and uh, set up an eagle. Up to fourth in the race to Dubai, 60th approximately in the world ranking, so one big performance away from all those invitations into majors and world golf championships. You've also won the mini order of merit for the UK swing, so the 60,000 euros from the uh, Golf for Good initiative will be yours to donate to a charity. Who will you be donating to? Um, I'll be donating to uh, Children uh, Cancer Fund in Denmark and um, a Ronald McDonald House in Denmark as well. At times like this, you would love to have your family here to celebrate. I can't offer you that, but if we wander over to the screen, they are there, ready to congratulate you. So have a chat with them. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, Hello. Hi, 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 as we say goodbye from the UK swing and head down to Portugal and to Spain and Valderrama. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.